Come on! We won't even touch you. Unless you really ask for it. I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we were as good as yeah. dead. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what I can. What the fuck are you saying? Damn, there's too many of them to come. What about that bitch girl? Riggers, slaves, Get over here! Barbarian called him over because he's going around them sneakers and just get to the next floor. Uh, a penthouse, that's the word. And the boss hates stench. Why don't you fucking catch it from him? Come on, why the fuck does it take so long? You could do it with your eyes closed, I know that! Ha! You must be one of the just dangers! Just you take a fucking look at the beauty of it. You just take a detour? Well, you just fucking pull it! Stuff here. Put your back into it! Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? Yeah, I'm sorry, master. I'm your slave. It was not on purpose. Shut up! I'll teach you how to serve now! I'm sorry, master. D don't teach, please! Shut the fuck up! I ruin you from Baldy Fair and Square! Why kill master, great Mirza? Now they kill me! I didn't protect Master! What do I do, Mirza? What to do? Look, you go up that ladder. Past the headquarters, then past the harem, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. Come on! What's taking so long? Come over here, I'll rescue you. Look at that. The whore drank Master's water. Give her a lesson Forgive now. me, Uli Mirza. I... You're a dog! Shut the fuck up! Less than a dog! Thank you. Ah! The water is for people! Ah! The fuck for is the it? master! Do you get it? Ah! Hey, you! Get your ass over here! Yes, Uli Mirza. Throw this piece of shit out of here! Throw Come it on, away! I'll have a with you. The boss don't like waiting. Right now! Yes, yes! Uli Mursa! What is this for you? There's only shot I swear the hell is that coming from? Look, it's one of those new arrivals. Come to lick the boss here. What's the holdup? What's up with those eyes? Pretty boy, did you come from afar? Now find me after on, you baby. talk to the Baron. I won't disappoint. Shake that you ass. won't find a girl like me in any city. I 
You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here! Different reception. <laughs> Bolster your web. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird that I'm not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life, so I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul, you will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. Your herself has come for you. You'll answer for everything. He walked it from the other side. That coward. Do you think I am a fool? You didn't want it, dear. Now you will all die. Starting with you, Gyor! Kill them! Artyom, get ready. We must kill these dogs! Guys, we're getting fucking killed! You dirty worm! Artyom! The world lives by different rules. The strong ones always win. It is through this man that we protect them. Keep them from disappearing in this desert. But you, you, you are leading our flock astray. They see you as something of an icon. There's this aura of rebellion about you. The attraction of forbidden. It's an aura of problems nobody needs. Luckily, your death will be dispelling.
carnage. You went all out here, didn't you? Whoa! Oh, impressive! So, this is the plan Gul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Let's give it a shot, Artyom! Come on, Artyom! You wanted to create a new world with this? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! I got her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Gul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster, the inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, 
I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me? Just A. She'd hug me and say, One day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there, to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly. Because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Yes. <laughs> 